if you want to do a fully funded research master's degree in australia i got you covered in this video keep on watching hello everyone daddy cliff here welcome back to another exciting video on how you can go about doing a master's degree that is very much research intensive in australia that is 100 percent fully funded but before we get into that why not begin by subscribing to the channel if you've not yet subscribed and then turn on all notifications so that you will always be notified when there are new videos on scholarships in the channel and why not check on the channel there are other scholarship videos like the global korea scholarship to study in south korea there is another scholarship here to study in canada the mark bain scholarship there is one for belgium there is the australia award scholarship to study also in australia and there is another one here in sweden and there are lots of other scholarships in the channel why not just look around maybe you might find something that might be of interest to you and also before we continue i had another video on the australian award scholarship the link will be up there you might want to also check on that video on australia but this video is going to be about the graduate research scholarship to study in university of melbourne australia without wasting too much time let's get into my computer and look at the details of this scholarship now like i said this is to study at the university of melbourne in australia and the scholarship is the graduate research scholarship and they say it is available to high achieving students undertaking graduate research at the university of melbourne this is what is so cool about this scholarship application type no application is required you will be automatically considered for this award this is the total value 100 percent fee remission and up to 110,000 australian dollars fee remission means they pay your fee they pay all of your fee so these are the benefits of the scholarship if you click on this full benefit it will take you down here what are the benefits stipend and fee offset scholarship full fee offset for up to two years for students undertaking a master's by research degree or up to four years for students undertaking a doctorate the scholarship is for both masters and doctorate students a living allowance of 34,000 australian dollar per year 2023 full-time study rate for up to two years for students undertaking a master's for research degree or up to 3.5 year for students undertaking a doctoral degree they would fund your two year studies for masters and then fund your 3.5 years of doctoral degree the living allowance may be indexed annually and includes limited paid sick maternity and parenting leave it is also important to note that with this scholarship you can move with your family to australia they would equally give you a relocation grant of two thousand australian dollars for students moving from states or territories other than victoria or three thousand for students moving from outside australia so if you are already in australia it is important to note that you can apply for this scholarship it is for both international and domestic students so if you are an international student you would receive three thousand australian dollars overseas student health cover single membership for international students who require a student visa to study in, in australia single membership simply means they would give insurance to the students who will be admitted for the master's or doctorate degree program another fees offset they say full fee offset for up to two years for students undertaking a master's by research degree or up to four years of students undertaking a doctoral it's just a repetition those are the benefits of this scholarship it is important for me to state here again that it is for masters and doctoral students but for those who will be involved in research at both the masters and doctoral level now what are the study area it says applicable study areas all studies areas but note that it should be research intensive and the number of scholarship awarded 600 wow 600 
citizenship australian domestic students and international students so if you are an international student you are also eligible to apply let's look at other eligibility criteria so it says eligibility and selection criteria to be eligible for this scholarship you must have applied for and meet the entry requirement for a graduate research degree at the university of melbourne or be currently enrolled in a graduate research degree at the university of melbourne so if you are already in australia you can equally apply for this scholarship but if you are an international student you can apply but you must apply for a degree that is research oriented let's look at the selection criteria like i said it is important to note that the scholarship is automatic once you get admitted in the university you will get the scholarship so all domestic students who are offered admission to a master's by research or doctoral degree at the university of melbourne will receive a research training program scholarship fee offset which means they would clear off your fee graduate research scholarship that provide a stipend as well as fee offset are awarded to domestic and international students based on academic merits eligible applicants are scored and ranked according to their academic achievement for their last completed degree so let's say you just did your bachelor's degree based on your gpa that's how they will score you and then decide on giving you the scholarship and also on their research potential in their field of study it is important that you know that they will take into account your grades and then your research ability so if you've already made a lot of research you've already published a lot of articles it will be to your advantage when applying for this scholarship so that is like the selection criteria they will take into account your academic merits like you scored well you had a good gpa and then you equally did a lot of publications maybe you published online a lot of articles and then you maybe wrote a thesis they will take into account all of that when doing the selection what is the application process if you are a new student and have applied for a graduate research course by the application closing date for that course you will be automatically considered for the graduate research scholarship you will receive a notification that a scholarship application has been added to your record within 10 business days of having submitted your course application there is also another condition here in case you've already received an admission letter and you decided to defer your start date for the degree so that you can be reconsidered for this scholarship you then you have to submit an online application form by the 31st of october to be considered for the scholarship the following year so it is our it is very important to know that if you already have received an admission letter from the university and you decided to defer it so that you get this scholarship you need to fill out the application form by clicking this link and then you will receive a notification also that you have been added to the scholarship also if you are already a student in the university and then you want to get this scholarship then you equally have to submit an application form by the 31st of October. It is very important for me to state here that the first one simply says that when you apply for admission to a graduate research course, as it states here, you will be automatically be added to the scholarship. Also, in case you had already received an offer for admission and you needed this scholarship and then you decided to defer your start date for school you can equally submit a letter that okay i had already received an offer for admission but i need this scholarship you would also fill out this form now it is very important for me to state here that the application process for you to get this scholarship has three options when you're applying as a new student once you complete your application and you submit it they will automatically add you to this scholarship that's what they are saying here in this first section also in case you had applied before and had already received an offer for admission but you did not get a scholarship and you knew about this scholarship and you had deferred your start date for school because you wanted to apply for this scholarship you can submit an online application form to state that i had already received an offer for admission so you would fill out the form that's what they are saying here and you have to respect the deadline the 31st of october then they would give you the scholarship also the third one here says that in case you are already a student in the university of melbourne 
and you won this scholarship you will equally have to fill out the online application form by the 31st of october then they will consider you for this scholarship so note if you are very new you can apply if you had already received an offer for a graduate research course and you needed the scholarship you can equally fill out this form if you are already a student you can equally fill out this form to say okay i am already a student but i need this scholarship but make sure you respect the deadline 31st of october those are the three ways to apply for this scholarship basically that's it about this scholarship i hope this information is very beneficial again i have to repeat that this scholarship is for those who are applying to study in the university of melbourne australia this scholarship is at the university of melbourne australia when you apply you would be funded automatically if you apply for a graduate research degree if you've already received an offer for admission into one of the graduate research scholarship you can submit an online application while respecting the deadline if you are already a student and you need the funding you can equally apply for this scholarship if you are already in australia so basically that's it about this scholarship that being said we've come to the end of this video please make sure you like the video if the content was useful to you and please do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye